Hey fellow saxophone nerds, uh, my name is Matt Feltner. I'm videoing here from Oklahoma City on tour with a Broadway musical called Bullets Over Broadway. And I just want to talk for a few minutes about a couple mouthpieces from C.E. Wins. I heard a lot of buzz from them online and just had to check them out for myself because people were saying good things. So I'm going to talk about just briefly and then play just briefly a couple things today. I got a, a show that starts in about an hour. But all week I've been playing the five spot jazz, which is supposed to be kind of a Meyer Brothers replica. This one is a 6M. You can see we're working with like a round chamber. Not much of a baffle to speak of, uh, which is actually good because the mouthpiece I was playing on previously was the Van Doren V16, uh, which I played for many years and still like, but I thought I was getting too bright of a sound for this kind of 20s and 30s jazz element that I have to be playing um, in the 10 piece band that we have on the road here. So I was interested in darkening up just a tad, or just like kind of rounding things out. Um, so, now we've seen the chamber, let me slap a reed on. The reed is a rigatti. Um, three, like I said, the mouthpiece is a 6M. And the ligature I'm using was actually just like a stock thing that, that CE Wins sent along um, that I really liked. It has no, has no name on it, but it's just like a singular screw, um, sort of like what a like maybe an old auto link style piece or ligature rather. And yeah, what I noticed like versus the brightness of my old piece was that there's kind of a really nice roundness from top to bottom on this. And uh, I dig it for the kind of, the kind of section playing that I've got to do here. I, I have to sound a little less like, a little less edgy, a little less poppy, a little more appropriate to the genre. Um, I'm gonna play a little excerpt, not from the show, but just something something I transcribed yesterday. <laughs> I have one take to do this. I don't have a lot of time. That's 16 bars of an Eric Marienthal solo. Uh, but from from uh, the way you look tonight, so I think it's Eric trying to like maybe pull back just a tad out of his usual like upper sonic realm and play uh, what was a really nice actually textbook solo. And I'll do the rest later and I'll put it available online. But um, at this point, I'll switch over if you'll bear with me. And the other mouthpiece that I'm going to take a look at is the Soloista, uh, which is meant to sort of mimic the, the great acoustic properties of the old Selmer Soloist short shank uh, mouthpiece. And this is a D, which was a popular facing for that mouthpiece back in the day as well. And with this one, if you can see in the light, we're working with a, it's a, it's a horseshoe sort of chamber. Um, this one is going to play a lot, a lot softer, like a little more refined, and I haven't been playing it in the show because I do need to cut through a little bit. But what I've, what I've told the fellows at CE is that this is a great choice. Like, I mean, I guess it's aptly named because if you're more of a soloist and you play in, um, you know, a quartet setting more, more often, then this might be a really great choice for you. It's got excellent color and like and depth and darkness. And as soon as we get it locked on. <laughs> Something I would keep if I needed to be, if I needed to take edge off my sound entirely. Pardon the announcements. That's live theater, folks, isn't it? Um, I'm gonna try and play the same excerpt again and hopefully not screw it up. So there's a little bit of a flub in there, but we're
we're all human. Um, another point I want to make about this one is like for you classical cats out there, this is one that maybe is worth a look as a good crossover mouthpiece because of its darkness, because of its more refined sound. Like those of you who are. Concerto. Yeah, yeah, you're not gonna get me to play the rest of that one. It's been a little while on me for this kind of stuff. But anyway, CE wins, Fort Myers, Florida. Um, I'm not paid to say any of this. I just think they're making a really good product, and I think we need more of that kind of stuff out there at an affordable price for the average musician who uh, can't get these mouthpieces on eBay for two or three grand. So CE wins. Give them a look. Uh, my name is Matt Feldman. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.